might be walking and talking. Today is Thursday, 17 August 2023, but in a certain park and tennis courts. And this was, if I'm recalling correctly. So we use this field for soccer. That was true. And we used it for our home competition fields when we were like super young. Um, <laughs> when this, uh, so I started when I was in 1998, I was approximately six years old. Um, and so the fields were really tiny back then. So there could be multiple fields set up in this stretch of grass, which I'm walking to the end of. But we also had practice here. And then we had, um, if the pool wasn't working, but we still had pool swim practice, we'd do practice out here. And we did some stuff for uh, water polo. Um, we'd start here, do stretches and different, um, sometimes running, but then we'd also run to Richmond Beach Saltwater Park. But here's, goes down in that way, which is where we walked. The playground has been redone. But yeah, this is part of my running story. And then we would also use, I did tennis lessons over here at the tennis course, which I'm walking to. And we did tennis golf and we would come out. And uh, I had started running, I think at some point in time, or I was enjoying running, but I hadn't started running and we were doing tennis lessons. And the coach or less instructor act, asked us what we wanted to do. And I was like, we should run. And everybody was like, tennis, no. And then we had to run because of me. So I didn't say anything after that. So we didn't have to run as much because people weren't as happy about running as I was. Yes. So you can see the pool kind of. So the locker room building, that building has been redone. But this is the same, the pool's the same, and the tennis courts are approximately the same. And then th that, the playground has been redone, mostly. Well, there used to be a big tire on the ground over there that we could, when we were really little, we could climb. And I guess I should show my camera. Can I? No. Okay. There we go. I don't think they used to be blue. I don't know. It was a long time ago. I took, started taking tennis lessons in like 1999 or something. And then I will also answer the question of so i said why i started running when i was at highland terrace walking and talking yeah, this past week um but i did not say why i chose running like because we had my parents had a treadmill my parents had approximately about that time a nordic track um it was from my granddad and they had gotten rid of it and so it was in our basement i think about that time there might have been a boxing bag but i don't know about that um, bought it cheap from Costco. There was a rowing machine and there was like, I think they still had the weight machine, which my sister used because she had bad knees. Um, and I chose to go with the running, the treadmill, because of all the machines, I had pretty horrible coordination. And so, uh, I was like, well, <laughs> that leaves only one option if I don't want to get hurt doing this. And so I went with running. I went with the treadmill. Uh, it, it is that simple process of elimination. Which can I do <laughs> and not get injured? <laughs> uh, and taking into account my athletic abilities. And I wasn't great at coordination, which is something that, uh, it was a, uh, people marveled at my ability to swim classic breaststroke because I was so bad at court, like I was so poorly coordinated and I've gotten much better as I've aged but uh, early on I was kind of like it's a miracle that she can even swim breaststroke 
with how bad her coordination is. I, I even had kids say that to me. It's like, hey, there we go. Yeah, but that's why I chose running was the treadmill was the one thing I was like, well, isn't running about getting to one point to another point as fast as one can or like above a walking pace. So there's a little bit more free form and, or freedom of form. Um, whereas the other things were not that way. So there was the treadmill and this was approximately the same time. I don't know if they were all there. We had them all, but like there was a boxing bag, a treadmill, rowing machine, weight machine, and Nordic check. I couldn't, and I, for now, I think the, the first thing I tried out, or, or not the first thing I tried, I, I don't actually know if it was the first thing I tried out, so scratch that, but uh, I think the lack of coordination was highlighted the best with the Nordic check, where I like, I couldn't, I just felt like I was gonna fall over, and I was like, you know, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna be smart and not put myself at risk. There's a dog walker. Maybe we should do a half lap. Oh, there are crows. And there's also a like baseball back board thing which my dad and I, I had an aluminum baseball bat just cause I wanted the baseball bat, no? And we came over a few times and yeah. Came over a few times and just hit the, I can't remember if it was a baseball or softball if we had both. I was better at hitting the baseball than I was the softball. I am a female. So the sport would have been softball for me. It's like, well, figure I'm better at hitting the baseball than the softball. And this was another area we use for practice and for games. And there is the baseball drop. And I had a mitt and stuff. My dad taught me to catch uh, baseball. Happy walking and talking. Thursday, 17 August, 2023. At Innisarden Park and Tennis Courts.